Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another One Kit 10 Cards video. Today I am featuring the August Card Kit and I have to apologize since this video is coming out quite late but I was on vacation and I am still playing catching up with all my monthly events. And first let's take a quick look on what's inside the kit. So you get a Distress Oxide ink, you get a jar of embossing powder, which is really sparkling, I just love that. You also get a stamp set, which is full of sentiments as well as uh, great designs. This is a very versatile stamp set and I like it because it's not cutesy or uh, very childish. Now you also get these stickers, these are a ton of stickers and they are puffy stickers which means that you will get some dimension if you stick them on your projects. And as always you get your 6x6 papers, these are only uh, designs on one side so you don't have to fight with yourself on which side of the pattern papers to choose and play with. And uh, I really like this one which is full of uh, different designs that you can use on top of your cards. And finally you get five different uh, colors of cardstock which I am going to cut in half and score to create my 10 card bases. And let's start with the first card. For this I am going to cut out this uh, pattern paper into half and uh, you will see that I am going to use the rest of um, the paper in another card later on. So I am going to stick with uh, the part that says leave more and I am going to cut it down to size so that it fits a standard card but it's slightly smaller so I end up having a little border. Now at the center of the letter O I am going to stamp one of the hearts I used the solid little heart from the stamp set and I'm uh, using a pink ink pad that matches perfectly with some of the pink details on the pattern paper. And I'm doing a little bit more stamping again using uh, stamps from the same stamp set and the same ink pad just to dress it up a little bit more. And you will see that all the cards that I will make today are super quick and easy to make. I am trying to stick only on uh, the products that were included in the kit and you will see that we will end up having quite um, modern looking cards and very graphic ones. So they are perfect for a boy or a girl of any age. Now as you can see I'm adding some finishing touches by sticking some of those stickers and then all I have to do is to stick that on top of my card base. For that I'm just going to use tape adhesive at the back. Now if you want to take the card a step further you can always use glossy accents all over the words leave more but I decided to only add some shine over those letters and I will call this card done. For my second card I have just cut out a triangle from this pattern paper and uh, I'm going to place it at the very bottom of my card base but just because I need to have one solid line I decided to cut out this solid line, the orange one, from this pattern paper. Now in the kit there are no solid uh, colors so um, I just had to improvise and that's why I'm going to cut out this strip and again I tried to stay true to the contents of the kit so I didn't introduce a strip of cardstock that I had in my stash. That's why I did that. Anyway, I am going to glue this down with my glue there on uh, the side and I am using my favorite uh, uh, white glue for the moment which is the Nouveau Deluxe. I find that it never clogs and um, I like how thin that uh, tip is so I can get uh, tiny little doses of glue exactly where I want them to. Now I am going to cut out the excess and I will end up having a little triangle with that uh, red stripe on one side and this is going to help uh, my paper stand out against the background. I am adding some tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it down and uh, notice how I made sure that it was slightly smaller than the standard card so I do have uh, that border that I always like to have on my cards. Now all I have to do is to stamp the sentiment and I'm going to use uh, to combine actually two of the sentiments from the stamp set the one that says thanks and the other one that says you are a great friend. So I'm going to stamp them along that uh, line there and uh, I'm going to do that with black ink. And finally I'm going to dress it up a little bit by adding uh, some of those little triangles and uh, if you notice I am actually following the colors that are um, in this pattern paper. So I am going to go with uh, orange, 
then pink, the blue, and uh, finally the green one. And this is going to add a little bit of dimension and uh, something interesting to look at when uh, the recipient gets this simple card. Now for the next card I'm going to do some embossing. So I have a strip of uh, white cardstock there. I am going to cover it up with my Versamark ink and then I'm going to apply the embossing powder that was included in the kit. I'm going to heat set it and then I will end up having a strip of paper that is sparkling. And remember this pattern paper where I cut out this uh, orange strip from the center. Now I'm going to end up using the leftovers. So I'm going to go with this uh, marbled one. And I really love uh, this marbled pattern paper against the gray cardstock. So I am going to add this um, sparkling uh, strip of paper just underneath. And this again is going to separate it from the card base. And it is going uh, to help the pattern paper pop against the background. It's exactly the same idea as I did for the previous card, but with different pattern papers and uh, in the totally different color combination. And instead of uh, stamping a sentiment, I'm going to stick one of those puffy stickers that says, uh, don't quit. And I'm also going to go with this uh, tiny little sticker that says remember. And uh, my card is finished. Now, as I promised, I am going to create another super quick and easy card. But this time I am using my stitch rectangle dies to cut out a frame. If you don't have these dies, you can always use your uh, paper trimmer or your ruler and your craft knife to cut out a little frame. I'm going to place it on top of my card base by using foam squares at the back. And at the middle of this, I'm going to stick a sticker that says there is beauty in simplicity. And I'm going to leave this card super simple, just like the sentiment says. And I can't really recommend this kit enough, especially for beginners. If you follow my instructions, you will see that I don't introduce new products, especially for this kit. And uh, although it looks quite difficult to start with, you will end up creating quick and easy cards that are perfect to give to any person. Now for this card, I combined one of the stickers that says leave more with less. And uh, then I introduced one of those little squares that were included in this pattern paper that was full of squares. And as you can see, I am cutting out a banner out of that. And actually I am creating a focal point. Now what this paper says is fill your life with experiences, not things. Have incredible stories to tell and not stuff to show. And I think it matches perfectly what the saying on the sticker. So I decided to add some foam tape at the back and I'm doubling up the foam tape at the bottom of this flag. So I will end up having some dimension. And then I'm going to stick this on top of uh, the little rectangle that I have created out of uh, this pattern paper. And I end up having a beautiful looking card just by playing along with the color combinations, the stickers and the pattern paper. For this card, I'm going to cut out uh, strips of paper from these two pattern papers. As you can see them here, they are all different sizes and width. And uh, I am going to combine them with a leftover that I have from the first card that I created. So now I'm going to use my tape adhesive at the back of these strips and I'm going to stick uh, all of them together, trying to uh, keep everything random. As you can see, I am trying not to have straight lines. And um, I'm going to have some of these uh, strips going vertically and others horizontally. And I will end up having a cluster of pattern papers with the top one saying more crafting, more books, more fun, more hugs. So I think it's a perfect card to send to any crafty friend you have. And now once that's ready, I am going to pick up one of the stickers, the one that says be in this moment. And I'm going to stick it just above those sayings. And then to fill in that white space, I'm going to use three of the triangle stickers. And uh, again, I am following the colors from the pattern papers. Now I'm going to stick that on top of uh, the card base that is yellow. And uh, this is going to complete the card. Now for the next card, again, I'm working on uh, the yellow card base and I have cut out uh, some uh, squares and these again come from the pattern paper that was included in the kit, which is full of little squares. So I just cut out four of them and I'm going to stick them on top of my card base. 
And now all those squares are not completely random. If you place them one next to the other, they really make sense. And it's a card about being together. So the pink uh, square says, this is where I need to be. The next one to it says, together is the best place. I am sticking down a sticker that says, you make me so happy. And finally, I'm going to stick the last sticker that says, so happy together. And my card is finished. Now for this card I decided to go with this pattern paper which is full of those uh, lines and uh, I am going to stamp uh, a few sentiments along those lines and I'm going to combine the inks that I use with the colors of those lines. So first I'm going with a sentiment that says you are a great friend and I'm going to stamp it with the ink that was included in the kit. Then I'm also going to stamp it with Limelight and that's a color of uh, my favorite things ink pad that I found matched perfectly, the color of the green line. And finally I'm going to use a Simon Says Stamp ink pad and that's uh, the color of Slate which matches quite well the gray lines. So I am going to do that stamping again and again on different angles, always following the lines of the pattern paper. Then I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back and stick that on top of my card base. And again I'm going for a super simple card just like I promised from the beginning. And to finish it off I need to stick some stickers on top. So I picked up a few arrows that uh, match perfectly my color combination. And my card is done. Now this is one of my favorite pattern papers included in the kit but I cannot fit it on top of a card just because it's square and it's quite big. So I have cut it in two pieces, I made sure that the one piece uh, completely covers my card base and then I'm going to stick it on top of uh, the other piece making sure that my rectangle now fits perfectly inside my card base. And now all I have to do is to use my paper trimmer to cut off the excess. So here is my panel as a one piece and now I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to bring in one of the stamps from the stamp set that says uh, you and me equals awesome and uh, I'm going to stamp it at the lower corner of my panel and as I am stamping it I'm also making sure that I stamp it on an angle following the same angle that uh, the printed uh, text is. So this is going to match perfectly following the design from the pattern paper. Again, I'm using a uh, black ink. I need to press a little bit harder there. And uh, I'm also going to embellish it a little bit more by adding some hearts coming out from uh, my sentiment. Now I'm going to use the solid uh, little heart and I'm going to stamp it with orange ink which matches perfectly the color on my pattern paper. Now this is where I decided that before I do the stamping, I am going to stick one of the stickers again in an orange color and now I will go ahead and do the stamping. And of course you can go ahead and make your hearts uh, colorful but always use a color that has been introduced from the pattern paper. So this is going to match perfectly and uh, it's going to bring everything together. Now finally I'm going to add some tape adhesive and I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and my card base is going to be orange so it's going to bring everything together beautifully. You will see that just because I did all that uh, cutting on my pattern paper it's not uh, going to completely uh, cover up my background so I'm going to use my paper trimmer and chop off the bit that I have at the bottom. And my card is finished. And finally we have reached the last card for today. For this I'm going to do some stamping. I am working with my Misty on uh, the pattern paper that is marbled. It's just a beautiful design. Again I'm using the same stamp as I used for the previous card and I am uh, stamping everything with slate uh, ink and that's by Simon's stamp. So I am uh, going to finish off uh, the stamping by stamping a little heart and I decided to go with the Distress Oxide ink that was included in the kit for the little heart. And I'm going to stamp it directly on top of my message. Now I have already cut out this uh, panel and uh, I have also cut out a circle on the inside. I'm not going for a shaker card, I just want to have a window card. And as you can see I have some foam tape at the back, just to add a little bit of dimension. 
And this is where I decided that I didn't like uh, how the little heart uh, was uh, coming along with the rest of the pattern paper. So I decided to punch out a heart from another pattern paper included in the kit that is pink. I am going to add a tiny little uh, foam square at the back and stick that on top of the other heart to cover it up. And I think it looks better this way. And now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created for today using uh, the August card kit by Simon Says Stamp. I'm really happy with the outcome and I love how all those cards are not uh, cutesy, are not uh, childish and uh, they are perfect, modern, clean and simple and also quick to make. That's a bonus. Now you can see all the leftovers. I still have uh, all these to go to my stash. I do have many 6x6 papers that I haven't even touched at all. So I can go ahead and make even more cards following the same style with the pattern papers and the stickers. Here is a close-up look on all the cards that I made for today. Don't forget to let me know which one of the 10 cards was your favorite. So I hope you had fun and got inspired today. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment. And uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button because this is the way to tell me that you like my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching.